Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at Ninja Trader and we're going to talk about something called the Session Manager. We can create things like session templates or edit session templates or also view session templates within the Session Manager. So let's go ahead and pull that up here. You can see I have the control center for Ninja Trader just right in front of me here. Kind of like the springboard for Ninja Trader. We can open up all the windows from here and configure different things and set up some options. To access the Session Manager within the control center, we just go to Tools. And then of course the session manager will be one of the options here. So if I select the session manager, we have another window that shows up. Uh, so for here, what we can do is uh, right off the bat, we can actually view preset uh, session templates. So if I kind of scroll down, you can see there's actually a lot of them that are, are pre-configured here. I haven't added any of these. These are just what comes with Ninja Trader. So you can see, for example, maybe if I wanted to view something, um, uh, we'll go ahead and say the uh, CME US index futures. So I can see ETH, meaning uh, extended trading hours or uh, regular trading hours would be RTH for most of these options. So I'll go ahead and choose regular trading trading hours. So now you can kind of see how it's set up here. We can see the start times, the end times, and the days, and uh, they can be different for each day, so it's pretty configurable here. So for example, with this one, they're all the same for each day. We have Monday through Friday, starting at 8.30 uh, a.m. and uh, ending at 3.15 p.m. Now, one thing that's important to remember with the session manager here is that all these times can be based off of different uh, time zones. So this one happens to be based off of central time, of course, uh, Chicago time. So this is uh, where the uh, CME is here. So this will be based off of the open and end times of uh, the CME here. So we see 8.30 a.m., of course, central time and uh, 3.15 p.m. central time as well. So if you're on the East Coast in uh, Eastern time, uh, you may uh, uh, kind of read this as 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 4.15 p.m. Eastern. So that's one thing to remember is that these do have different time zones that they can be based off of. So we can also view some other different ones here as well. So if we go to something like the extended trading hours, we can now see the difference between the uh, regular trading hours and the extended trading hours. So uh, whereas before we didn't even have a, a Sunday, we now have um, uh, kind of a Sunday through Friday here as opposed to uh, the uh, Monday through Friday. So uh, since the trading uh, extended trading hours do start at Sunday here at 5 p.m. Central time, remember here this session that is below. And then we have it ending at the, the end of the week here at Friday at 4.15 p.m. So what's interesting here is that these start times can actually be on a different day than the end time. So of course, starting at 5 p.m. Thursday and ending at 4.15 p.m. Friday. So that's how the extended trading hours here work. And of course, uh, what we can do is we can actually set up custom session templates. So for example, maybe I had a strategy that I only wanted to run for a few hours in the morning. Uh, we can actually set up a session template for that. So for example, uh, to do that, I'm just gonna select new here. And so this will ask us for a session template name. So I'm just gonna type in a new strategy, uh, but you can name it, of course, whatever you like. And now that so we have a blank slate. Now the first thing uh, you might want to do is of course set this up for your specific time zone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at central time here, but of course you could use a uh, different time zone if you wanted to. Now to add uh, the different uh, times, we're just going to select the add button. This gives us the option to set up the start day, the start time, the end day, and the end time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start these on Monday. We'll say 8.30 a.m., so the session open for the CME. But since I do want to uh, only go for a few hours in the morning, maybe I'm going to choose, uh, uh, we'll say 11.30 a.m. So of course I can uh, change this here. So 11.30. Uh, and then of course we can change this as well. So 11.30 a.m. So now we have this going from 8.30 a.m. Uh, to 11.30 a.m. Now we don't have to have the same start and end times for separate days. So if I wanted to, I can add another day here and I could actually change the, um, uh, the start time or the end time. I'm gonna leave these ones all the same, but I just want you to know that you can actually have that flexibility to choose between those. Of course, we'll need to choose the uh, other, another day here. Now for this one specifically, maybe I want it to only run Monday through Wednesday. Uh, it's not required to use all of the separate days, so that's just another option there for you. 
And so now we have a session template that will show data from Monday 8.30 a.m. to Monday 11.30 a.m. Then start over again here Tuesday 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Wednesday 8.30 a.m. Wednesday to 11.30 a.m. And of course this is based off of central time. So you can see how I can set that up. We can also edit one of these days. Maybe if we decide we want to let the Wednesday run a little bit longer here. I could absolutely do that. So I could go ahead and use that for maybe 12.30 p.m. And now we have that option kind of there for us. We can even delete a day. Uh, we'll delete Wednesday here. Maybe we wanted to kind of just delete that completely rather than edit that. That's absolutely possible as well. So you can see that it's pretty uh, flexible here as far as these different sessions here. You can also view different sessions. Uh, you can also edit the sessions. So if you wanted to edit one of these uh, specifically, you don't have to create a whole new one. You could actually just edit uh, one that is pre-existing. Um, so another thing you can do is also copy them and then uh, edit them that way. So if you want to start out with one of those and just edit it a little bit, uh, it may be a little bit faster to copy it uh, rather than setting up a whole new um, uh, session template there. So that's a little bit about the session manager and setting up session templates, of course. Um, if you want to learn more about the session templates or if you have any questions about them or NinjaTrader in general, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.